If you're watching this video, you have read this poem. Let me read the poem to you. Bats, they come in many colors, flying through the nighttime air. They use sonar to guide their way. Those bats are everywhere. They eat so many little bugs, the farmers love them so. But when the daylight comes along, do you know where they go? If you've read this poem, you're ready to do your project. Your project is gonna turn that poem into a beautiful little book. Let me show you. Wow, isn't that cool? Miss Mallory made this one. So you're gonna have the moon in the background. And this is like the night sky and the bat. So I wanna show you how to make this. Let's start by gluing our poem to the cover of our book. You're gonna take your blue folded paper. You're going to take your poem. You're going to glue just the corners. You're gonna put enough glue so it doesn't come off. But not too much. Kind of center it. Ta-da. Then you're going to go open it up to get it ready for the next step. Let's leave it right there for now. Now that's the sky, but we're going to add a moon to the sky. Here's our circle. We're going to use this to represent our moon. We're going to fold, you can fold the moon in half to make two equal pieces. Or you could fold it slightly off center and have the moon kind of in the side. Wherever your fold is, that's where it's going to go inside the crease of your book. See how they match the crease of the book? So I'm going to put glue on this now. On this side, this is where you're going to want a lot of glue so it doesn't come off. And on the crease. Now we just flip it. And we want to put it exactly in the same crease. So I'm going to actually go like this. And I see that crease there, I'm gonna push it inside the same crease. And then to flat, I'm gonna fold it on top of it, push it down, and when I open it up, it'll be in the right spot. Look at that. I noticed that my moon is coming up a little bit on this side, so I'm gonna glue it just so it doesn't do that. Ta -da. So that's ready. But we still have one part left. We wanna do the back. The bat takes a lot of steps, so I want you to listen very carefully. If you need to pause the video between my steps, that's a good idea. So you're going to start with this template. This is a bat template. You're going to use your scissors and you're going to cut it out. You're going to be very careful to not cut past into the white section. That's the part that's going to help you make your bat. If you cut too far, just back up and cut the right amount. You don't have to worry about being perfect. If you go too far in, oh no, that's okay. Just don't keep cutting, stop, and go back to the gray area. Whatever you do, just keep trying. So when I was done, it looked like this. Very precise. See that fold line? Do not cut there. That's a part that's gonna tell you where to fold. You'll need that fold line later. So you're gonna take this piece of paper and you're gonna take your black paper and you're gonna do something really cool. You're gonna make your bat using a line of symmetry. So you're gonna fold your paper in half to make two equal pieces. But you're gonna leave it folded. Do you see that fold line right there? This is where you're gonna put the side of your bat. See, right there. Your bat, the middle of your bat, should go on the folded line, not the broken edges. So now that it's there, you're gonna do something kind of crazy that Miss Mallory showed me how to do. You're gonna take a crayon. Crayons. 
you'll want a light crayon, like white. And you're gonna go like this. You're gonna hold down your white tracing paper and you're gonna crack, you're gonna color along the edges. Don't pick it up yet. I'm gonna keep doing it. Hold it and don't let it move. Okay, now when I take it off, you'll see my bat shape. Now you're gonna take your scissors again. Don't open it, just cut along the dark areas. This is like a shadow of a bat. I'm gonna follow the line. Right here, be very careful to not lose your shape. That's the bat's little hand. Take your time. Don't go fast. Make sure when you color, just color carefully. So now you have half of a bat. But since we folded it, we have one line of symmetry. Now we have a complete bat. Now remember how I said don't throw away that scrap? You're gonna want your tracing or your tracing template again. So keep your bat like this, and it's gonna tell you where to fold your bat. See this line? That's where you should fold your bat. So you're actually gonna fold it like this. Bend it. And then you're gonna flip it like this. You're gonna flip it on the line of symmetry. And then you're gonna see that fold? Now you're gonna fold there too. Fold it both ways if you want. And now you have a bat with fold lines. And that's going to really help. That's going to help make our bat 3D. We're only going to glue on the tip of the wings. See how the bends are right here? We actually want to glue on this side so that it can pop out. Ta -da. And we can do it like this. Let's see which one looks better. No, it's the other way. See, you can just double check. So glue it like this, and then we're gonna lift up the wing, put some glue there, quite a bit, so it doesn't fly away on us. Oh, I think I like that way. Mm, I'll do it this way. So I go like this, hold it down, then I'll put this glue on this thing right here, lift it up, flip it over. Remember, don't go fast. Take your time, make it look great. This is your bat book. First and most important, put your glue stick away. Uh, you know who you are, you never put the lid on. <clears throat> put your scissors away. Put your crayon away. Throw away your scraps. We don't need them anymore. Recycle it. Now look at it, oh it's beautiful. Uh, now we want to put it away. There you go. Bat book. Looks 3D. Okay. So now that you have your bat, it looks so awesome. You gotta write your name in the bottom. I would use your crayon, it'll make it show up. Alright, Mrs. Siebert. Ah, uh, there we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <clears throat> now go read your bat book to somebody. <laughs>